Do you think that you could date someone if you don't speak the same language that they speak? Mm -hmm. Like if neither of you spoke the same language, you're both like trying mm -hmm. to figure out what, how to talk to the other person. Would that be? Yeah, possible? no, for um, me, I don't think so. Yeah, because um, I, uh, yeah, it's very difficult for me. I, I really, for me, it's very important. I mean, when I talk about the same language, it doesn't have to be your native language, right? Right, right. But for me, it has to be the language you feel very comfortable with. Like when you speak, for example, when I speak English, I feel very comfortable. I can like describe my feelings, my emotions when I'm arguing with someone or when I'm crying, you know, I can still speak English, like I don't need to switch to my native language. However, with Spanish, it's not possible for me yet. So I think if, uh, yeah, like it would be very hard for me if I, I like this, the only language that kind of united me and the other person was Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be very difficult for me. I think the same. I've been in some situations, I, I wouldn't call it dating, but um. Mm -hmm. the person didn't be, speak the same language and yeah it's super difficult but i've also yeah. seen start and have long-term relationships not yeah. language or, or not very much and not really understanding each other at first and then figuring it out it, it was hard mm -hmm. for them but they did it yeah i've seen that too yeah but i just know that for me because I like to go very deep and intense at the very beginning. <laughs> so it would be hard for me to go deep and intense with a person who, yeah, like I couldn't connect with language wise. True.